Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and it is Whip Wednesday recorded on a Tuesday. Do, do, do. Watch me whip, watch me crochet, watch me knit, knit, watch me yay. It's Whip Wednesday. If you are new here, my name is Michelle. I live in Utah. I have children, a couple grandchildren. I crochet and knit, and I have a lot of fun making this YouTube channel. Um, today, we are talking about works in progress. So if you like what you see, I invite you to hook the subscribe button, like the video, and leave some yarn in the comments, which means comment. Tell me how you doing. Tell me what's up. Tell me what you're working on this week. Things like that. So I brought my bag. This right now has been the only thing I've been making progress on. And is it great progress? Not necessarily. So my crochet project, I finally, as of today, finished my band. I was very excited about this. Um, this is to me kind of the hard part because it's a lot more counting involved. Um, the yarn is a, I think it's a one weight and I'm using a 4.25 millimeter hook. So um, the yarn compared to the hook is a little bit on the thin side. So it makes for interesting crocheting when you're working in a small thing. Once, now that I'm here, um, like the last round was way easy. And this is just, um, I did my chain and then I did single crochets, double crochets, and then single crochets. My last round was a lot easier and it should be very easy from here on out. I'm really excited for the skirt. Um, I have already, because I wanted it to be the same color as the band, I did a chain that I will be threading through my band probably after the next round or two because that's when the patterns start mostly so I don't lose it um, but I have this that's going to be like a drawstring in the project so after I'm not sure if it'll be after the next round or the round after that I will thread it too and kind of tie it a loose little bow just so it doesn't get lost but that's what I've been doing I got this far um, hopefully now that that part's done, I should start doing progress really soon. Um, we'll see. And in case you were wondering, the yarn I'm using is this yarn cake here. It's one that Shannon of Another Yarn sent to me. And it is a Yarn Bee Rainbow Rhapsody in Ivy League. I do not have my glasses on, so I cannot... Oh, I'm close by either. So I can't tell you everything. Um, it is mostly cotton and has acrylic. I think it's a 60-40, but I can't read the numbers. I don't know. Can we put it up here? Will it be visible? I'm not sure. Um, it's a one weight. I know that much. So I'm excited to see how this turns out now. The other thing I've been working on, and it has made progress, but you probably can't tell, is this shawl. This is a Vortex shawl. I made a mistake in my creative expression saying I think I paid for it. It is a free pattern, guys. It's free. Um, so it's pretty fun. You make your little bit in the center and you work your way out and you do the same pattern repeat between each of your stitch markers. So it's pretty easy. It's a two row repeat. Um, I'm loving it. Took it with me when my daughter went to the dentist. So I got a couple of rounds done there. Um, my son has a dentist appointment on Thursday, so um, I will probably, I don't know if I'll work on this or the skirt because I'm taking both projects with me for a while until one of them gets too big for the bag and then I will just kind of separate them up. But these are kind of my like, I'm just going to take them with me when I go places. They're the things I'm actively working on because it delights me to work on them. I have my vortex shawl. It's going to be a big round circle. Um, I have the yarn that I'm using is this yarn also given to me by Shannon of Another Yarn. I instantly fell in love with it. It has a beautiful sparkle in it. I like to get it up blurry just because then you can see the sparkle. Um, and it's a one weight. 
I cannot remember all of the end mounts, but it's acrylic, PBT, which I don't know exactly what it is, and 5% of polyester. I can't remember the percentage of the acrylic, and like I said, I can't read it right now, but it's also a one way. This is super stretchy yarn, so that's kind of fun. I think it's gonna make a lovely, lovely shawl. It's gonna have some nice drape to it because of that elasticity. And then the fact that it's being used, made on a fatter hook than like say a sock yarn. Like if I were to use this for socks, I would use a much thinner hook, or hook, ha, a much thinner needle than this. So um, yeah, I'm gonna put the link to this pattern in the description box, as well as the tutorial that I'm following for the skirt. Um, and I had some awarenesses this last week I'll talk about in Creative Expressions um, that I think is making a difference because I've already um, made huge progresses on cleaning my bathroom, which I've needed to do for a while and have put off and I was like um, made progress on it now and it's um, the only thing left is the floor to sweep them up T yesterday it took me some time to do part of it but the tub was gonna be a bigger problem because the drain wasn't working so I had to put drain stuff down to fix that um, so yeah um, anyway I'll talk more about that in my other thing I think maybe if I remember and so yeah um, I'm excited that I have made some progress on something I'm excited I'm remembering to do this and hopefully I can have some other things going oh yeah I just realized what I need to do today and tomorrow before I record um, if I want to keep my commitment to myself. Pretty fun. Anyway, um, I'm going to, I love holding this up because I just think it's so pretty. Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they will be, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!